Hi, it's Larry Herbeck's Box Live's Major Nelson down here in San Francisco for the Division II preview event. Now we're gonna to talk to Julian Garrity, who is the creative director for the Division II, but first, I have something to reveal. It's this guy right here. It is the Division II bundle, the Xbox One X version. Now you get a full download of the game, including a trial of Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold. This thing is amazing. Now the Division II is enhanced for Xbox One X, and Julian's gonna tell us a little bit about that. Julian, thanks for joining us. Great to see you. Thank you very much for having me. First of all, I do, we just announced this great Xbox One X, the Division Two bundle. Tell us a little bit about what the enhancements are. Actually, this is the first time I see the bundle, <laughs> so it's a, a special it's moment. special for, for both me. of us, everyone. Xbox One X allows us to get the best out of the game, mm -hmm. and that means 4K graphics, mm -hmm. HDR, mm -hmm. and really, this is the crispest uh, version uh, that we have on console. Let's talk about the game. I want to talk about The Division 2 and start right with, with the base of operations is the White House. That's amazing. Yes. Tell us about that. So we revealed that today yeah. because basically the base of operations is your home. Mm -hmm. It is that location that you need to build up and that represents all of those features, upgrades, tools, skills, weapons that you're going to need to get. If there was one iconic location in Washington, D.C. that could represent that, it had to be the White House. Right. Washington has a diversity that New York doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Washington has these wide open spaces, has these government buildings, but it has suburbs, it yeah. has commercial areas, it has nature. So there's a lot more things that we could do that creates a more varied space. And of course, that leads to a more varied experience, even in terms of gameplay. Can you tell us about some of the activities we'll see as we're roaming the city? So one of the things that we really wanted to improve on on the first game is injecting more life, more dynamic um, events and activities for players to engage in. So we, we really leaned into things like control points, which are strategic locations of importance. It could be uh, a hospital the corner of a hospital, the access to the medication, to the, the, the drugs that people need to just to be able to survive through the night. That's gonna become a strategic location of importance, not only for the civilians, but also for the factions. So you're gonna to have to take that back and that will feed into the resources that the settlements need to survive and thrive. After you take back DC, is that the end of the game and the end of the story? Actually, it isn't. Okay. When you do reach the end game, when you do take the capital back mm -hmm. from the True Sons, there's a twist. And a brand new faction is introduced into the world at end game. And just their introduction is a transformation of the world. They're injected into the open world and they invade every single main mission, giving you a brand new reason why to play them. At E3, we went up and we said, our commitment to our player base is to be to provide a whole year worth of free content. Mm -hmm. At least three episodes of uh, a map extension, narrative content, new main missions, new modes, new maps. But every single episode will be packed with activities, rewards, gear, and weapons for our entire community for free. That's fantastic. Tell us about specializations and how they factor into the end game. At Endgame, you have a new threat, a new challenge, lots of new activities. So you're gonna need new equipment. What we've developed there is a whole new progression tree for you within Endgame. And those are defined by specializations. Highlighted by a signature weapon, and that's a choice of a 50 cal sniper rifle, a crossbow with special ammunition, arrows there, and a grenade launcher. But that signature weapon really is just the start of a whole series of unlocks for you, your character, to deepen that play style. Julian, there's a lot going on for you and the team between now and launch, but what about folks at home? So there, there are really two dates that you need to keep in mind. Okay. February 7th, we start our private beta. Mm -hmm. Now to play, you can pre-order for guaranteed access, or you can sign up on the mm -hmm. division's website for a chance to play, and then that heads into March 15th, when the game actually launches. Julian, thanks for your time and uh, good luck on the launch. Thank you very much.